As from 6 a.m. this morning, uh, European steel and uh, aluminium exports to the U.S. are subject to tariffs, as you know, 25% and 10%. That decision was made public yesterday. So the exemption uh, is not prolonged. It's over. This is very unfortunate. It is unfortunate because it will um, cause a lot of damage to our steel and aluminium industry. It's unfortunate because the motivation behind this, the Section 232 that the Americans are using, uh, internal security, is, uh, is um, not relevant. It is pure protectionism. U European steel and aluminium export to the United States cannot be seen as a threat to their internal security. We have also explained from the European Union side that we think that the core reason for the concerns that the US have on steel and aluminium is not the European Union. We are not the cause of this. We have also suffered from the overcapacity, from the dumping uh, that is mainly caused by, by, by China. And we have uh, a positive agenda here as well. We have also explained to our American counterparts what we have done in order to um, to counter the, 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 the dumping and the overcapacity from China with uh, our anti-dumping measures, with reforming our trade defense instruments, uh, etc. The US were not ready to engage on these premises. They tried to push us to make uh, concessions uh, before we knew what would happen with this to limit trade and our exports on a voluntary or on a quota basis. This is not the way the European Union is negotiating.